Hello, how are you? There are people playing um, aggressive games. I'm sitting in the airport, um, but I haven't posted a video in a while, so I wanted to do a quick Facebook Live uh, from the airport in Las Vegas. So you'll have to excuse my voice, and um, I still have uh, beach or pool hair because our shower broke. The faucet literally, like, fell off of the wall. But what I wanted to share with you today, I want to share with you four things and four tips for myself that I learned while in Vegas uh, for five, six days. It was a long Vegas trip, um, so I am a little bit tired, but I wanted to share with you four things that uh, were really prevalent on my trip. So the first is to pay attention to when you are feeling good and when you are feeling at your best, because then you can bank those experiences and those emotions and really recall them and go back to that place whenever you want to. Um, the second thing is that, you know, when we go on vacation, we get so excited about who we can meet and where we will go and, um, and the possibilities of the day. And I want to just really um, tell you that that's all perception and you can feel amazing and you can be excited for every day because every day truly no matter where you are has the potential to meet amazing people and bring about really spectacular things that you could never imagine or dream of. The third thing I want to share with you is the importance of taking care of yourself and your you time. I really did not get enough you time or me time um, on my trip and there wasn't much time for it because we did not sleep that much. But I am by myself in the airport and feel so good and complete and full. And you know, I was kind of frustrated on my trip that I wasn't able to have more me time because I was so tired. Um, however, right now, having my own me time and feeling good makes me appreciate it that much more. So take your you time when you can and when you feel like you need it, you've probably waited too long. So take it continuously, even if it's just for 15 minutes or go for a walk and, and, and feel the love that you have for yourself and your surroundings and be, be appreciative of it. And the last thing um, before I head off and get back on my flight to Toronto is, I wrote it down because my mind is a little foggy in my journal. Um, so the last thing is as I continue to do um, self-development and work on myself, I'm letting go of the truths that I accepted of myself growing up. You know, I used to think I was super anxious and um, and as I start to become calmer and more aware of my emotions, I really am starting to get used to the new me, which is kind of exciting. Um, and I'm just getting used to the new me and finding myself as, the, as I continue that journey. And so I'm trying to be patient with myself as I start to learn their new me. And I encourage you to, you know, become that person that you want to become and get used to that you that you want to be because you don't have to be that anxious person you don't have to be um, that person that easily gets upset or that's negative you can choose who you want to be and become that person but then be patient and start to love yourself and get used to the new you as you continue to change so those are my four um, revelations it's things I know but just that continue to get you know hammered into me um, on a on a, on a regular basis. So um, thank you so much for watching and I hope some of these tips resonate with you and I will be posting this on YouTube also. So if you want to follow my YouTube channel or go on to my Instagram, um, my Instagram is I am Vanessa O. I A M Vanessa O. So thank you so much for watching, sending you so much love from Las Vegas and I'm excited to go home and share some more love with you from there. Bye for now. See you.